Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, what is up? My name is Nikki or Nicole or whatever you want to call me. But by that I just mean pick between Nikki and Nicole because there's nothing else you can call me. I just say it because it has a nice ring to it. I started there. Oops. Okay, I give up. American accent it is. So this is my American accent. Um, I cannot do an American accent that well as you can tell. I just love to do an American accent because um, it's fun. But I'm not very good at it. Um, I've been practicing though. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm annoying, I'm annoying, I'm annoying, I'm annoying. I don't know why I wanted to do that. I just wanted to do a British accent for my intro. I've been thinking about it. So I did it, okay. It's still like, okay, it's not the morning at all. Um, but I woke up not too long ago and I ate breakfast and it kind of sounds like I'm getting sick Like why does it sound like I'm about to get a cold? But uh, oh to be clear I am actually American the British accent was technically fake and the American accent technically real if you're new here I should probably explain that um Sorry to dupe you like that, um, but you should get used to it. I love doing a British accent. But yeah, so I'm vlogging again today. Well, actually, I'm not really vlogging. I'm going to do a get ready with me. So, I mean, it's not really a vlog, but I'll kind of vlog too because I want to do some other stuff as well. So, I might vlog there. That's what I should say. But I have to get out of my pajamas and change, and I want to do my makeup because I got a whole bunch of new products, which I'll show you guys. I completely switched up my makeup, which I don't do makeup a lot anyways, but when I do, it's usually for like TikToks or videos, you know, because sometimes like you'll like with TikToks to do a cute little transformation and then you'll have makeup on in the next clip when you didn't have makeup on before you know what I mean and I just like to do makeup randomly too and plus I need makeup for auditions and stuff like that not always though if I'm being honest I don't always wear makeup for all my self tapes but it's just I just wanted to have some makeup okay so I got all new makeup which I'm gonna show you guys and I did try it before so I kind of know like how I want to do everything but I just want to do a cute little glam but first I want to change I have a really cute top that I want to wear I got it from Shein as well Shein actually sponsored my last video which is up go watch that I'll do a little information card but I got a lot of cute outfits in that video too so go watch that video after this okay so i'm changed it took a minute i'm wearing this super cute top actually everything i'm wearing is from sheen again and like i actually really love this top the whole outfit i really like <laughs> but my hair is not matching the vibrations all right so i'll fix that too when we're getting ready you know but let me go get the ring light so i can film like this way but yeah and i have a whole bunch to show you guys and i'll probably show you guys some stuff that i got from amazon so Wait, all I have is shaving sticks. I might as well show you guys that right now. But, because <laughs> I just shaved my armpits for like the first time in ever because I've been waxing. But yeah, they're these like reusable razors and they're curved. They're called safety razors. And I've used like one before, but I think it was like disposable. So I got like a reusable one because I saw it recommended on TikTok. And I just shaved my armpits with it because I forgot to wax. So I just did that real quick. But yeah, so that's like some random thing that I got off of Amazon that I thought I'd share. Now let's go get the ring light. Okay, so first, I'm gonna put on some jewelry real quick. Oh, and I cut my nails, by the way. You guys have been loving my nails, but I just trimmed them, and I'm gonna be taking photos as they grow because you guys wanna see how I take care of my nails. I'll show you guys some photos. If you don't know how my nails normally look, they grow very long, and I'm able to keep them long. I will definitely get around to filming that for you guys. Okay, all jewelry is on, just something simple, and I'll put lotion on my hands after I do my makeup so that the hand lotion doesn't go on my face, you know what I mean? Because I have a special hand lotion. Okay, so now let me just quickly tie my hair back I'll do my hair at the end. I don't want to touch my hair and then touch my face and all that stuff. You know, clear. I loved when H2O was a trend on TikTok. That was too fun. Okay, good enough for now. Don't come for me. I actually do remember I have some packages that I wanted to show, which these I did not order. They're gift they were gifted to me as PR packages. So I got this mascara in the mail from Rimmel London. So I think I'll try this one out today. It's their Wonder Extension Mascara. So we'll see how I like this. And then I also got a package from Florence by Mills, which I love her PR packages. So this is what it looked like. It came with a mascara and brow gel and then eyeshadows, which I actually tried the mascara and the brow gel, and I really, really love the brow gel. The mascara is cute, but it's not my favorite. You might like it more if you like a more volume eyelash. I prefer more lengthening one i don't know my eyelashes are very picky with mascaras but the brow gel is so bomb i guess it's supposed to be tinted but i don't know if it really does tint i don't know like what color it is oh no it's clear and transparent okay yeah so it's just clear i loved it it was so good and it really locked my eyebrows into place this might just be my new favorite brow gel but these are supposed to be talc free which i'm happy about because i don't want to use products that have talc in them so yeah so i might actually use one of these eyeshadows today but now let me show you the products that i got recently because I changed up my whole makeup okay so 
I just washed my beauty blender. I actually haven't tried this foundation with a beauty blender. I used a brush. I have a lot of brushes to clean, but I'm only gonna be using a beauty blender. So let's talk about the new foundation that I got. This is now my new foundation. It's the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation. It doesn't have a lot of ingredients. They're clean ingredients. So I was like, I wanna get this. It's their least ingredients it's their least most ingredients liquid foundation on their page and bare minerals is actually clean makeup their whole brand is about clean makeup anyway so I've only used this once so I still have like the seal on it so I could be able to show you guys like the seal is still there shake well like all the stickers are still on it I'll leave the shake well sticker but yeah okay I'll take off this sticker and I'll show you guys on the screen how it came I got a whole bunch of stuff from bare minerals and the packaging was super cute and nice but basically it's a pump I love a pump foundation I ordered everything online I didn't go in store so I think I remember this look not even darker but just more like orange on me I don't remember how long ago did I do my makeup I don't know but don't worry it'll all work out in the end this is how it looks and my hands are mighty ashy because I've been washing them a lot because COVID you know what I'm saying so don't even talk about it and I have no lotion on them don't talk about how dry my hands look how ashy how ghostly whatever whatever okay thank you very much the only thing with my makeup routine though right now, not even a routine, just what I do when I do do my makeup because this is not a daily thing. Okay, so it's nice with the beauty blender, but I don't have a powder that I've found yet because like I said, I'm trying to use clean makeup only because a lot of stuff have dangerous chemicals in it. Powders wise, there's a lot of toxic chemicals in a lot of powders that are dangerous because you can inhale it easily. Look, it actually matches my neck. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Maybe the lighting I did it in last time made it look like it was a bit darker or orangier than me. Or maybe the beauty blender helped blend it more. But as I was saying, I haven't found a good powder because there's so many toxic chemicals and stuff in it and I'm scared. So when I did do my makeup last, I noticed that my smile lines really creased a lot because I smile a lot, I'm sure. Um, but under my eyes didn't crease. So that didn't crease bad, but my smile lines did. I'm gonna make TikToks after this. Whenever I do my makeup, I just feel like I have to make TikToks. So I did the first half of TikToks, like the before, you know, because like you do the before and then you're like, boom, makeup done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so that's the foundation that I'm now using. And then moving on to concealer. The brand is also Bare Minerals. This is their Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. How do you say that? Complete Coverage Serum. Yeah, okay. So yeah, so I have two shades. This is more for highlighting and this is more of like a closer match, but it's actually a bit darker than I am. So I, I kind of used it as a little bit of like a contour before my bronzer. And that made it look really nice and soft because these concealers are so nice and creamy. I like to put my concealer on the back of my hand. I don't like to put anything directly onto my face because, you know, pimples and stuff. And then you'll put it back into the bottle. But yeah, oh, so if you're wondering, the lighter shade is medium golden and the darker shade is tan. And my foundation shade is, I'll probably put it on the screen, but it's neutral tan. 21 and also there's SPF in this foundation. So that's pretty cool. So yeah So these are the two concealers on my hand. My hands are really white right now Let's go ahead and use the darker one kind of like where I have my pimples and as you can see It's like a bit darker so I'm just using it around my cheek pimples and it's kind of like a contour at the same time You'll see how everything comes together. I promise y'all trust the process. Okay, and then I'm going to go under my eyes with the lighter concealer To kind of brighten everything up under my eyes and to kind of mix in with the darker Concealer, I don't know really how to explain what I'm doing. It just works. Okay trying not to smile a lot <laughs> I just smiled oh my god I'm trying now I why am I smiling great I was doing so good before I was trying not to smile so that I don't get any like smile lines right now because again I don't have powder otherwise I just wouldn't put like foundation all here but because I'm doing a video and I want to be out extra I am so oh my gosh my skin looks so good guys <laughs> also by the time this video is up the TikToks will be up so you should go and like that and like that. Mama smiling. Stop it. So I have to stop it. This is not a smiling matter. Okay. Okay, so now let me show you guys my bronzer. My bronzer of choice is a cream bronzer because again, I'm staying away from all powders. But anyways, this is the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer in Grace Bay. This is how it looks like. It's so pretty and clean. But again, I'm in the shade Grey's Bay. 
Grace. I'm in the shade Grace Bay. <gasps> the lighting is so nice. Uh, can it stay like this? But anyways, again, I used it, so it's a bit used. Okay, so let's bronze. It's a really nice bronzer. They have three shades only, though. One lighter and one darker than this. <gasps> My beauty blender fell. It's okay. It's only this side that I'm using. I'm done using the beauty blender anyways, hopefully. Okay. I don't like to contour my nose. I don't know why. I just feel like it's a whole other identity when you contour your nose. Like you can literally look like a whole nother person and it's slightly scary for me, for me personally. But what I like to do is highlight it because that kind of brings your nose back. You know what I mean? Or if I do like put contour, I don't like to change the nose shape. You know what I mean? But because this is cream and I can like easily mess up, I don't feel like doing that. I'm just gonna do highlighter, which I'll show you guys. Cause I just like to keep it natural. I'll put a little bronzer on my forehead, I guess, because I have some on my hand left anyways. So yeah, so that's the bronzer. Really, really like it if you're looking for a good cream bronzer. And now with the little rest of my concealer, I'm just going under my contour to I'll use my finger to make the contour look sharper just like that so next the blush that I use is the Glossier cloud paint blush I don't think Glossier like promotes themselves as a clean brand but on the I think I checked on EWG which again Kourtney Kardashian recommended and it is a pretty good app but I think it was only a two so which means it's safe or something like that so this is the shade puff and it's super light and by light I mean like light coverage but it is also a very light pink as well I'm gonna go a little bit on my nose Okay, so that's my blush. And then for highlighter, I'm using the Florence by Mills Bouncy Cloud Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Glow. I don't know why I just brought that onto my eyelids, but I did. Now, I actually forgot I had this like brow flick pencil from Glossier because what happened was they actually messed up my order on Black Friday and gave me somebody else's order. But instead of having me return it, they let me keep the wrong order as well as my actual order. And this was one of the things that came with it. And it's actually like a brown brow pencil. But as you guys know, my brows are quite full already, so I don't fill them in. But I just thought, why not make a little wing with this because it'll look n more natural. I just did a super small brown wing. Okay, just like that. Both are good, but both are different. <laughs> I don't know which one I like better. And now I'll use the brow gel from Florence by Mills that I was talking about. I'm kind of scared because I did my makeup so nice. I don't know if I want to try any mascara. But yeah, do you see like how it's such a small wand? But it really gets my eyebrows into shape. Probably the best brow gel I've tried. But then again, I've only tried one other one. Well, no, two other ones. So yeah, this is the best brow gel. I really really like it my mom just brought me pistachios and mango thank you boom it is not easy to control my eyebrows and this really so yeah bomb.com let me eat some pistachios Oof. this plate is actually my birthday party plates from like my seventh birthday it's mario themed okay i was gonna try this but i like how my eyes look let me see how this looks on my hand that's pretty mm -hmm. I'll just put it in my inner corners. I don't know if you could see that, but it's really pretty. And now, my new favorite mascara is the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara. Literally the best mascara I've ever tried as of now. I still have to try this one, but I did my wings too nicely to risk this not living up to this mascara or being the vibe that I want. So I'm not going to risk it and I'm going to use my favorite mascara, okay? I really hope I don't have pistachios in my teeth because that would be annoying. It is literally all about lengthening and that is what I love. So I do it on the tips and then I go through the whole lashes and then I go like this and curl it up because the wand is skinny enough to do that. And it really lifts my lashes up. But do you see how nice and individual everything is? Yes, you do. You do see. Because this is HD quality and you cannot even lie. Okay, now other eyeball. 
Comment down below your favorite mascara. I don't know why though, this eye, my left eye, wears mascara so much better than my other eye. I don't know, is that just me? Like, do you guys have one eye that just like, the eyelashes just work better with mascara? Like, look, I haven't even done the trick yet and it's already so bomb. And boom. Personally, I'm not a bottom mascara person, though with this mascara, it actually does look nice, but I don't feel like risking it. I'm almost done with my pistachios, I promise. Wait, while I eat. How you doing? Let's play a game of this or that. Okay, ready? Rings or necklaces for me that's hard i don't know i wear necklaces more but rings are so nice nana what would you pick rings or necklaces no rings really i don't know okay maybe i'll say rings just to agree with you <laughs> i don't actually know comment down below one more shoulder bags or like a regular full-sized bag i say like a full-size bag if i had to like never use one or the other again I pick a full size because as cute as the shoulder bags are, they hold like two things and you're done. But like cuteness wise, shoulder bags do be really cute. Okay, maybe one more. Okay, one more, one more, one more. What's another good this or that? You have to comment your answers below, guys. Well, this is a get ready with me. So how about makeup or no makeup? Me personally, no makeup. I feel like I just prefer to go out in the day with no makeup, I feel like. I just prefer to just get up and wash my face and put lotion and then be shining and glowy with my natural skin more but comment down below your answers because i'm curious and that is that segment of this or that okay now moving on to my lips you guys actually have been asking for my lip combo a lot so i might as well give it to you now this is the nyx lip liner in urban cafe this is the color that i've been using let me go ahead and do this And this lip pencil, I think, was only like two dollars, but that might have been, or like a dollar. It might have been though because it's Black Friday. I don't know how much it is regularly. And then when it's lined, I put Fenty lip gloss. I'll use the brown one. And then it becomes like a little bit more like bronzy than brown. And then that's how it looks, but. I think I'm gonna take it off because I like the natural lip better. Okay, so I'm just going to do clear Fenty lip gloss. Comment below if you like the makeup look better with the brown lip or not. I think I like the no brown lip better. I think it's more calm and I like it. So now I'm just gonna take off the braids real quick. And boom! <laughs> okay, I'm all done and I look like this. <laughs> I look good, I look good, I think I look good. Again, another sign to get ready today and feel good about yourself. That doesn't mean you have to put on makeup or whatever. Yes, go get ready today, however you want to get ready and just feel productive and nice. But yes, I love this makeup look. It's just so nice and calm. Why do I look? Like I'm going to a tea party. Oh. <laughs> I'll be making TikToks for the rest of the day. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. I was just really talking a lot about makeup today because I kind of want to just help out if you guys are looking for any clean makeup too because the amount of like toxic stuff in makeup is kind of scary. Hopefully you guys got some new makeup recommendations if you guys enjoy makeup. And if you don't, hopefully you just enjoy the video in general. I still have a lot more to learn, you know, but so far from what I do know, I think the products that I told you guys about are pretty clean and I want to try to stay using clean makeup when I do wear makeup. Let me know if you guys want more Chit Chat Get Ready With Me's and this one was just kind of like introducing you guys to the products that I use but like next time we can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about because you guys now already know the products that I use but we can just chit chat while I do my makeup and it'll just be more casual talking you know what I mean? Not so much about products so let me know if you guys want more makeup Chit Chat Get Ready With Me, hair, makeup, outfit videos like this and I will do it. We can do it in a way where like you guys can give me topics you want to talk about specifically. I don't know, just give me ideas. I'm trying to come up with ideas, you know what I mean? So you guys can also give me two cents. And don't forget to comment something. I don't know, tell me about your day. Tell me about any drama, whatever, anything that's happening in your life or anything that you want to comment and tell me. And we can chit chat in the comments because you know I answer all my comments. Give recommendations, anything you want to say in the comments. And yes, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, my TikTok because I'm going to be making some TikToks right now. And yes, so I'll see you guys in next week's video which will probably be a vlog because I think I will be vlogging this week again. So yeah, bye! Nikki out.